Hello, Recreate 7, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 3. And you will have noticed that we started this episode, there was no lovely little introduction music, and that is because I finally have got my travel setup working when I am, in fact, traveling. So this is brought to you from a European mainland, and uh, hopefully, audio levels, etc., etc., are all hunky dory. Um, so we'll take this one as a little bit of a test case to see if this is uh, an excellent way of doing things going forward. And speaking of going forward, we left things off last time. We were looking for more fleet carriers, and that's probably where we're going to begin. So we do, of course, now have the Chrysor. She's just working up a 30,000 ton, 92 plane carrier. Uh, and I think we're going to do a new CV based on her design. So we're just going to open up there. We're going to uh, save ourselves a little bit of money by working off this design. And you'll see, actually, from the weight remaining down here, it's not been a huge amount more weight savings since we designed this class. So we've only really got a couple of hundred more tons to play with. Um, and there's not a huge amount we're really going to do with that. I think if I had more room, the obviously improvements we want to make in our fleet carriers in general going forward is going to be some more armor. Uh, it's been a long time, I think, we're looking for flight deck armor unless you go really chunky. Also more speed. But yeah, we're, I think we're stuck at the old 28 knots for just now. One thing we can add, um, and thanks to Blaze for reminding me, because something I'd often forget, is catapults, because we've got that tech. So we can now throw a couple of catapults on board, and indeed we will need to re refit the Chrysor and the Adelbert, give them catapults as well. So we'll put on two, that's the maximum we're currently allowed. Um, obviously modern fleet carriers have four. Uh, I don't think you can realistically fit four on deck this size, but um, yeah, two seems perfectly reasonable. And I think that might just be all the changes we're going to make. Um, because we're already capped out on topside capacity. Um, we've already got all our AAs kind of heavy so we can get. I suppose what we could do actually is give ourselves a little bit more uh, ammunition, which seems fairly reasonable. And maybe that's it. Maybe we'll leave kind of 170 tons uh, for absorption into heavier planes because i know through time planes get heavier so we will, we'll have to reduce our complement uh, as we go forward so yeah i think that's going to be it so we call this one well, actually we're going to call the class is just going to be the chris or i think mark two um and but i am going to use the, the pegasus name for at least one of them and i'll have to think what we're going to call the third so let's save and finish that's all okay and it's going to be like cheapest chips so that was what five million, I think it cost us for the first design. This one was five hundred. Love it. And I don't want. I'm not going to refit our existing ships just yet. I'm going to wait to see how our balance is looking once we start building a couple of those. So let's advance turn a time. Advance time a turn even. Uh, Nor units. Uh, oh, yes. Let's get those set up. Um. So 16 is not our maximum air wing, but our starting air wing, and it's a pretty good size of things. So let's throw these out. I think, I mean, modeling off vaguely what the kind of Essex had, I think it's a reasonable place to start. And indeed, I think there's a very similar comment from Tim Mac about the 92 wing carriers. We could say we can have ourselves a couple of fighters, and that allows us to both have a cap and an escort squadron. We then want um, at least one dive bomber and one torpedo bomber. And then the question is going to be who gets the extra one? I tend to feel dive bombers are going to come more into their own and are better at knocking out carriers. Because even if you uh, don't knock out Completely, you can often take the flight deck out of action with a single hit. Ours haven't been that great to date, but we're certainly getting more powerful dive bombers, and we're starting to carry a thousand pound bomb. We've got in our dive bomber now, so I am tempted. So I, I and I'll do it. I'll do a quick check to reconfirm. But let's in fact I can do it right now. We'll start with this. Show me my planes. That's the wrong button. Show me my planes, please. Uh, our dive bombers, yeah, are indeed up to a thousand pound bombs, which is you know. Pretty tasty. 
<laughs> also, our torpedo bombers can carry 2,000 pound bomb. Ah, but obviously they uh, come in level bombing rather than dive bombing. Um, and it ranges, one of the things, our dive bombers range is a bit on the limited side. Whereas our torpedo, our actual strike on a medium torpedo mission is almost 400 miles. Oh, that's, that's quite different. Everyone else dive bombers. I know I'm getting slight sidetracked there. What ranges are we talking about here? No, we are fairly similar. So here's I don't know because I I am not aware of being and this could just be my ignorance, such a disparity between ranges for torpedo bombers and dive bombers, like in real life. So I wonder if it's just a quirk of the way aircraft are developed in game. Ah, now I'm torn. And now I'm really torn. So my, my thought was, let's go dive bombers. We pack a lot of punch. But actually, I think from a, a usefulness perspective, we're going to get more use out of torpedo bombers because of the range. And we can almost change things as dive bombers develop. So let's do that. I think let's start with the two wing to torpedo bombers. And we can increase our dive bombers to have the extra two planes. Bomb note with an 18. And then maybe switch out. For more dive bombers from when we get slightly better uh, planes. I like that idea. What's the range of our fighters? Well, I mean, they're only going to be providing cover up on 185, actually. So if we do go for a proper long range strike with our torpedo bombers, they're going in alone. Not ideal. Can be useful for, say, finishing off crippled units. But it also can be a way of getting your uh, planes chewed to pieces. Okay, I mean, did we get too much of a decision here? I think we did. I think we said we're going to add, for right now, an extra torpedo bomber. And you guys can give me two extra planes. So we've got 18 dive bombers, 32 torpedo bombers, 32 fighters. Seems pretty good. Uh, and you're carrying a tiny bit of fighters and torpedo bombers. Yeah. I'll do it just now. Let us advance a turn. Oh, the Bismarck Archipelago has got a rebellion. You now want me to move more ships to Northern Europe because Britain is getting angry, okay? Oh, war between Italy and Austria Hungary already. It says compromise piece. Is that just a white piece? I presume so. Italy is reduced, France has increased, France has increased. So they're getting a bit uppity just because they don't like Corsica, a bit of randomness. Okay. Yes, we shall go to the build screen. I would like two of you, please. And that's why I'm renewing in here. You can be the Pegasus. And, oh, I'm going to have to think of a good name for that. I'm in my travel setup. I can't even do my quick pause and run away. Well, uh, I'll have to remember to do that before these things are finished in 26 months. Now, speaking of 26 months, I have just put ourselves into red. To the tune of one and a half million a month. So we've only actually got 20 months worth of funds, and I need 28 months. So we've got a little bit of a shortage. Um, but I think we can manage it. And either maybe war might increase it. France is getting a bit tetchy. Or. We'll just make do. We'll maybe pause one for a little bit. I, don't, I think the last thing like three feet carriers, I think, is a good thing to aim at for um for us as Italy and you know in a full carrier strike force we're now bringing you know 270 planes, which is a lot. I like that, it makes me happy. Um okay, so you want me to bring some more forces into from the Mediterranean up to Northern Europe. I will do so. Things I do to keep my Prime Minister happy. Move ships to Northern Europe. Ace. Um, you are currently working up. I'm going to put you on reserve. Your crew quality is going to be rubbish anyway because you're brand new. So there's not much point paying lots of maintenance for it. Once, I think once we get into our first war, you're going to go active and stay active. 
because I want to want you in a reasonable condition. Um, one of the big impacts of crew quality is their damage control, which can be pretty problematic, as we have seen, and certainly can be the difference between life and death for a carrier. Uh, I still lost my precious friends break, so ships have gone active for a minute. Oh no, a sudden slump in the economy has led to unemployment. And not when we're spending like this. Come on. How are we going to handle it? Further cuts to Navy are unacceptable. I lose budget anyway. Precision tension up. Charities, constitutes on relief, budget down. Social reforms, budget and prestige down. Um, I want to do this one. I'm slightly nervous. We're being thrown into a war with Britain and France. But they're not allied. We could fight them both. We have Germany on our side, so I'm quite keen to get to war with Germany on our side and leverage their power for hopefully an easier war. Maybe we'll roll the dice a little bit. Tension is very happy in Italy and America. Good. And we've improved armor quality. Oh, that's a bit of a pain to get that after having just laid down two new ships, but such is life. As is torpedo protection for her. Okay. Although, whether we could have afforded that, I can't remember how much uh, tonnage that would cost. Not all. Okay, things seem to have been going okay so far. Oh, that's some, uh, some, that's some tension. Okay. So the ships we moved through were our heavy cruisers and our battle cruisers. So you guys can drop back down to reserved. Save us a little bit of cash. Yeah, good, 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 good. Got to manage that budget. Right. Uh, I do want to just quick check in on our Corvettes. Have we put everyone back to where they should be? You three are all on foreign stations. Let's just be an, act uh, no, an active fleet. I should have everyone where they're supposed to be. Yes. And why are you an active fleet? You should now be able to go multiple essentially as should you two you should actually my three spares multiple 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 everything else is working as intended good so if we did go to britain where's the problem areas um i suspect here yes so I see Asia is a problem area. I don't want to lose my holdings, I thought, so darned hard for. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, I have to run away to sneeze. Um, med, it could be a problem area, but I'd like to think we could lock the med down, or at least contest it. Europe's not a concern, barring blockade. Baltic's fine. Caribbean, now that is also a concern. I could definitely see us losing some possessions here. Because the problem is, I'm not sure we're going to be able to defend everywhere at once. Even with Germany's help. Mm, okay. That's one where I feel like we could, you know, win the war, but actually end up with less territory when you started with. Well, let's roll into the new year and see what happens. Uprising in China makes it necessary to send an expeditionary force. We can push tension through the roof. Multinational, keep it. I'm going to multinational. I don't want to go to war with Britain and France. Even with Germany, that seems like a lot of work. Most modern medium bomber is more than three years old. Right, don't remind me again. Also, this I think it's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Some scientists, bits and pieces, but nothing of note. Great Britain has reduced naval spending as a result of social discontent. Hmm, interesting. But then next up, the government of Great Britain has increased naval spending to keep its navy preeminent. So that's as a, a modifier Great Britain gets, actually. So as long as any other country, if their industry, their budget grows to a certain extent, Britain's automatically increases as well. That's certainly British. How are relations going? Italy, America is still sitting at 10. There could be a few wars breaking out here. Mm. 
Legion Bomber, that's what popped up. I knew I was something. I was remember, I had to remember something. Okay, let's go for that. It's, yeah, three years old. We don't have another one on the way. Let's request. Uh, Legion Bombers again. Just carry a big bomb. Um, what's the range we've got? I mean, the range is already massive. So naturally, it might continue to be big. We could look for an increased speed so we're to get places quicker, but it's already it's already okay to be honest. You know, it's a parity with what else we've got in terms of cruise speed. Um, say don't get shot down, but that's not too much of a concern. But why not? I'll carry a big bomb, don't get shot down. See for that reliability. We'll go for that. Costs us a little bit of money, but we'll manage. Our new naval patrol aircraft is ready for operation. Additions during development have apparently left it somewhat underpowered. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, but they've developed another one. Perhaps fixing the problems. Uh, I mean, Firepower 10 is ridiculous. Um, okay, so it's not as tough. A bit more maneuverable. Range, I mean, the range is already huge. Don't, I don't think it's better. A bit faster. No, we'll just keep this on. Unless we were poor reliability, it might be worth rolling with dice. Oh, so what I am. I'll just say no. Okay. Just kind of waiting for the, the end to come. Tension is high between allied Germany and France. Ooh. We should tell Germany we'll support them, whatever comes. And then we're really trying to appease the British. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I might uh, reduce our spying on the Britain just for now. The US government is selling us rights to weight savings and torpedo mounts. I mean, money's a bit tight. Money is a bit tight. Normally, I just say buy, 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 buy. There's a war around the corner, which should give us a budget increase, but at the same time, we're going to mobilize everyone, which is going to hurt our income. What's the difference here? What are we really saying? We're saying a delay in our CV of three months if push comes to shove. That doesn't feel critical, let's buy it. Okay, we still don't know electrical optical director. Probably pushing a little bit too much in that time, but there you go. Oh, Britain has also increased, increased naval spending again to keep itself preeminent. Ugh, ugh. Again, we're having a bunch of planes re-equipped. Um, let's have a quick look. How are we kind of making a month here? Eight, seven, seven, two. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I could certainly see how plane losses are going to start to hurt. You're going to be unable to... to um, may be unable to really sustain large losses for a while, which is going to be interesting. It's not really a fact you've ever really had in the games. Uh, let's you know, uh, let's put you down to none for just now. Let's push for war with France, because we've got a little bit of unfinished business. Susan, Tonkin, and the Antilles. So I suppose we could also grab uh, Senegal, who really wanted to start to push down our, our claims in West Africa. I'm less interested there, but we do own Morocco, so we're already in the season. Our monthly balance is improving again, that's nice. War! Okay, this this might be what we what we need. Germany calls us to honor our alliance and join them in war against France. We say, we're not ready. According to Clause 5C, we are not obligated to help in this situation. Huh. I wonder if they picked five in reference to uh, obviously NATO Article Five, which is the self-defense. But uh, perhaps Germany is the aggressor here. Uh, oh no, absolutely. Prestige budget war. Nice. Uh, you've bought me a plane. I've bought me a plane. Designed me a plane. I'm still hungry. This one to speed yet. Is it better? Uh, slightly the same. The same. Slightly, 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 meh. It is technically slightly better. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them both. 
and then um, if there's a difference, I'm only going to keep one in the end, but let's find out the reliability and pick the better one. Ah, uh, oh, the Bismarck Archipelago has got, become independent. Which is fine, but also can be annoying because you can't invade in, in neutral places. Okay, there's VP stuff going on in place, but we haven't really done anything yet. Good, right, see, lost the flag there. Means if we were with Germany, which we're not, if we were, we wouldn't be able to invade it. Okay, let's hit the big old mobilization button. Ta-da! Activate everyone. Oh my god, my balance is terrible. That hurts. That really hurts. Okay, where's France got its navy? Mainly up in Northern Europe. Germany's got its big fleet up there as well. Okay. France doesn't have huge amounts of a navy. What have you got? Nick? Let's let's maybe start by contesting the med. And then I think we'll do the same. We'll send us uh, a nominal force out to Southeast Asia. We've got one light cruiser at the minute. That's not particularly much. But we'll send maybe our heavy cruisers out here. Don't want them to invade us in Italy, in the, the Mediterranean. One CL, one CV, four CVLs. I want to sink those. Right, let's go to our, our designs. Let's go try and clear the med and then maybe support Germany and Northern Europe. Right, uh, let's get out of Northern Europe with pretty much everyone, I think. Oh, my battle line. Just, just well, right, you guys, actually, let's get, I'm going to Southeast Asia. You just, I don't want you fighting. We'll send you away somewhere. You can take, I don't know, you can take the Sisney. Uh, I've got one, and I need, you're going to need some kind of escort. Uh, why don't you take those guys? Yeah, we can chuck this fleet over to Southeast Asia to support the Baltico, and we can take them, take them Puerto Rico as well. I might keep the heavy cruisers around for doing some cruiser bashing. Although they're also woefully slow. All right, let's send you guys out to Southeast Asia. And then... Uh, everybody else, I think we're going to come down to the med. Now, we might get some issues because we might technically be blockaded for turn. We shall see. Just a second. No, it's like, what? God, move to Madrid. This is also the one you guys never get to see because it appears on my other screen when I tap M. To the Mediterranean. Yes, yeah, Scudo class, yeah. I'm going to send everyone down to Med, I think. Move the fleet en masse. Move to the Mediterranean. Okay. Corvettes all in Northern Europe uh, are working up. That's probably fine. If we have a look at trade protection, you have 19. I'm short on trade protection ships now. Uh, trade protection. Yeah. Well, I can turn you guys on to trade protection as well. I forgot about that. Boop. Okay. Technically covers it. That should be fine. Um, we're looking at invasion planning in a minute, which I think is sensible. Submarines. We did buy these long buy build these long range submarines. They're currently sitting in Northern Europe. Probably a good place for them to be, to be honest. You think you'd set up a blockade around France? I wonder why don't we do why don't we somewhere? Let's say send six of them down to West Africa to kind of harass French shipping from its mainland to its colonies. Something like that. Um France getting ships here? No, you don't. Well, do you know what? I, I can't afford it. Let's try this. Oh my god, I'm spending so much money. I'm gonna have to halt both new aircraft carriers, I think. Even that keeps us in the red for a little bit. Okay. 
Beautiful. All right, let's hit the turn button. Let's see what happens. Convoy attack. Ooh. We are. We must have been sending some ships out this way. See what happens. Do we actually have ships? Estimated enemy force in area. Heavy cruiser, light cruiser. Just expected enemy force in battle. CVL, or CA. Okay, I think we've bitten off more than we can chew. We have a bunch of aircraft uh, based. Tonkin, I think. It's just up here. No, Tonkin's his one. I'm sure my aircraft were based up here. He says, hopefully. No decline penalty. I, I think we're just going to decline this. It just seems like a silly fight. Wait for some support. Let's decline. Small engagement. This is going to be an auto fail. Um, okay. I can't decline it, but I have no ships. What are you doing, game? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Um, okay. And not turn run run. Okay, draw no Victor France. Apparently he sunk something. Oh, a lot, a lot of merchant. How bizarre! I wonder how many prestige you'll get for that. Less than if I declined. <laughs> okay, you may retire, Admiral Morales, which is uncommissioned command. I. I don't think you're one of mine, so sure. Add more money, beautiful. Weight savings, better torpedoes, gun range, I like that, it's useful. And then new patrol aircraft. Uh, same bombs, less tough, more maneuverable. Nah, I'll just keep one of those things. I like the toughness. And we don't have force priority. We'll have a look over there in a minute. Uh, oh, Italy's occupied Greece in a Blitzkrieg invasion. Okie dokie. Senior figures in the suggest declaring war on Italy. <laughs> um, I mean, I think we could, but no. I'm busy. I just timed it well. Germany's doing well, and France is blockaded. Job Germany. Yeah. Sweet. All right, that's excellent. Which I'm surprised we're not also blockaded, to be honest, sometimes the way these mechanics work. Um, looks like they've learned from our last war and have reinforced out here. So France indeed has a heavy cruiser, two lights, two destroyers. No CVL is reporting, which was making me a little bit nervous. Germany's got a CL over here, so I think we shall... Um, I think we're going to enforce our little invasion support force with these heavy cruisers as well. Send them out to Southeast Asia. Let's see if we can get a bit of ownership around here. No. What planes have we got in Da Nang? Uh, uh, I used to show you if you hovered over what planes you've got there. All right, I'll do your groups instead. Danang has got nothing in it. Okay, well, that seems silly. Uh, let's move up the ones probably from Camran Bay. Or, or what's the other one? St. Jack? Nope. Uh, okay, it'll be the ones that we got in Lingayen then. I'll say I can only move half of these over. Well, let's move. Let's uh, shrink you down a little bit. We'll move you guys over. Ten of you. And you, and we'll move you to Anang, and then we'll just, I think, increase this. Just by a few to 15. I think their range is going to be enough on light. 
I don't know, that might be a bigger distance than they give it credit for. But at least give us a bit more of a force up in this area where I suspect we might be fighting. We'll see. If we get a lot of battles over here, I would um think about getting another uh, strike force at one of these bases, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, right, I think that's where we're going to leave things in a minute. A quite an exciting little war against France on the go. Uh, I am pleased. I, I think I would quite like to make this one a fairly quick one if we could. I think our goals really are take Tonkin, take the Antilles, and probably just money. Yeah, I'm also worried about building my African holdings, but we'll play that by year. Or these, well, no, we'll start with those. Those two, are, I think, are our, what's our stated war game war aims. We're kind of building a nice Southeast Asia presence. I would like a bit of a Caribbean presence, and we've also got our holdings in the in the med. And at least kind of expanding in the east. I don't mind that, to be honest. We're doing a little like the old, um, I forgot what it was called, the Spanish Portuguese deal when they first started colonizing the world. I don't know, I kept myself, I can't remember the name of it, but they divided it down. Uh, the world down a certain latitude and Spain got everything west of it and Portugal got everything east of it for colonizing. Obviously Spain won that deal. We're doing a kind of similar thing with Italy in the Med. But there we go. Cool. Right. Well, uh, all going well, this uh, recording's worked out fine and we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, it should allow me to probably make another one later in the week and so we can keep knocking these out. I'll catch you then. Cheerio.